This is a short video for beginning sewing on seam allowances, what basically they are and why they're important. Okay, so this is a representation of some fabric. And as you see, the seam allowance is the distance between um, the edge of your fabric right here and where you have your stitching. And that's where the, the needle would go and stitch down your fabric. So this part here is the seam allowance. And as you see here, um, this is on a piece of fabric and the seam has been sewn with the seam allowance right here from this arrow to this arrow. So it's from the stitching to the edge of your fabric and that's what the seam allowance is. This shows the guidelines on the needle plate of a sewing machine. And you can see where the needle comes down um, right here. And this is the point where the seam is made in the fabric. And then the lines over here to the right are the guidelines and um, they're measured out from the point where the needle goes down out. So basically if you wanted a seam allowance of 5 eighths, you would put your material edge right here and you'd follow this guide along as you push the fabric through. And as you can see here, the edge of the fabric is lined up along the guide on the needle plate right here. And as your fabric is pulled through the machine, it is important to follow that guide and keep the edge of the fabric um, as close to that guide as possible so that you'll have the needed seam allowance and that it'll be even throughout your garment. Um, now, the most commonly used seam allowance is 5 8 and so it's important before you start sewing to check your pattern to see what seam allowance you should use for your project. Okay, this is an example of the importance of being consistent with your seam allowance. Um, right up here is a shirt that was sewn with the proper seam allowance, um, and it's been consistently sewn throughout, and so it's a balanced shirt. But as you see here, um, the left sleeve was sewn with a smaller seam allowance. And so as you see, um, it's a larger sleeve because um, they used a smaller seam allowance and the rest of it, so it's kind of out of balance. And then here, this is an example of the left sleeve sewn with a larger seam allowance. And so you have a small sleeve here with a large sleeve. And so it's important to keep it consistent throughout your sewing so that um, you, know, you don't end up with your um, garment being out of balance and kind of funny so okay next we're going to watch a short clip from professor pincushion who's going to explain how to figure out what seam allowance you should be using with your pattern you want to consult with your pattern directions in order to find out what the seam allowance is you're going to find this information either on the pattern directions inside the envelope or sometimes it's on the pattern piece itself what you're looking for is right here where it says seam allowance 5 eighths of an inch unless otherwise stated. So that means that your seam allowance for this pattern piece is 5 eighths of an inch. This is common for most patterns. Usually 5 eighths of an inch is their normal seam allowance. Now if you'll look other parts of your directions as you're making it, it may say uh, stitch seam at 3 eighths. So they'll say in the directions then if it varies from the 5 8 seam allowance. But if they just say stitch uh, pant front to pant back, you're just going to assume that the seam allowance then is going to be 5 eighths of an inch because it did not state otherwise. Okay, thank you for watching my video on seam allowances and hopefully it will help you in your sewing. Have a good day.